am back and I'm doing another haul video for you. I did a haul, I think it was my second to last video, and then technically my last video was also a haul. Um, but yeah, it's coming up to summer, well it is summer actually, it was turned summer last week I think, and I've been buying loads of stuff for my holiday, and so because of this, you know, I, I like watching haul videos myself, and I like making them, because I like showing you guys what I've brought and whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do that, and I hope you don't mind, but it's another haul, <laughs> yes. I've now decided against the glasses also, because they were a bit reflective, and I know that that will annoy quite a lot of people. <laughs> First of all, I went into TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx. I say this in pretty much every haul video because I haul TK Maxx quite a lot because I love it in there. Um, especially at the moment, it's really good for um, festival style and boho and that kind of thing. So yes. I went a bit crazy today, especially in the sale because they have a lot of good stuff in the sale. These are a pair of trousers. Now they're like kind of peg leggy, tapered, harimi kind of trousers. They're in between a peg leg trouser and a harimi sort of pant. Um, and yeah, and they've just got this lovely kind of grey and pinky and yellowy flower print on them. They're absolutely gorgeous and it's lovely silky material, so really light for the summer. I know I say this in every video, but I have wanted some um, some flares for quite a long while now. I love them, the skinny ones. Um, I know some people hate them, it's kind of a love-hate relationship. But I've always loved them, even before they were in fashion again, I did like them. But I saw these ones in, um, in TK Maxx and I just fell in love. Now, I brought two pairs because there was two different patterns that I really liked and um, I couldn't decide between them. So I was gonna bring them home and ask mum what she thought, but <laughs> I think I might just keep both. Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Yeah. So the first pair is these. It's kind of like this um, whiny, berry coloured um, skinny flares and then they've got this lovely pattern all down them. I don't know what material you would describe this at, but they've got like a bit furry. Is that that? I don't know. Not that. Velvety. They're velvety. That's the, how did I forget that? They're kind of like a velvety material. Um, they're really nice. They're stretchy, but they fit really snug. Like I said, they're this berry kind of red colour, and then they've got these lovely print all over. Um, it's kind of like a bit of a paisley print, but then if you turn them around like this, they've got like little elephants all down, <laughs> all down the edge. Then I've got another pair, which I think are my favourite out of the two, but I do love them both. Um, and then these kind of more aztec -y, very, very boho style style ones with the browns and the yellows and the teals and the red and they're just really gorgeous and again, it, it's obviously they're flared again. I can't wait to wear these. Then I brought these which are kind of, um, I think a love it or hate it item but I absolutely love them. Brownie coloured suede, suede, that's what these are, suede. They're this brownie coloured suede harem pants that just go down like this and they're so nice and this kind of um, brown suede is very very in at the moment and um, you see it like literally everywhere um, and I thought these were lovely they've got this little Aztec-y pa pa <laughs> oh, no Aztec pattern on the, um, the trim of the pocket here on both sides and they're just so nice because they're tight fitting and then they're like baggy and then they go down into like a harem style in the leg so they're, they're really lovely and dead um, good for kind of casual days and just like just chilling in the summer. I love them. So I think that was everything from TK Maxx. Now I'm just going to move on to uh, Dorothy Perkins because I just got one item from there. And it is these, which are these grey, sparkly, glittery um, peg leg trousers. They are just beautiful. And I saw them in the petite section and I was just like, holy moly, Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph. They're just gorgeous and they're just everything that I need in my life forever. And now I can die happy. Um, this is a funny story. <coughs> um, that's not the funny story. The funny story is that they're a size four, right? Hold on. What's that? A size four. I am not a size four. I have never been a size four, and I'll probably never be a size four. I'm like a a six to eight, but in peg leg trousers, I'm an eight or a ten because you know they're they're not so stretchy. These are quite generous. Mm -hmm. But they're a four and they're huge. I reckon they've been marked up wrong. I reckon they're actually like a ten. But they say four. I don't have no idea. They fit lovely and snug on the legs, like perfect for a kind of like a size eight. They fit because I've not got like I've got I'm, I'm thin. I haven't got like really thin size four legs, if that makes sense. Because I've got like muscle in them because I'm a dancer. Um, but yeah, they just they say six on the hanger, but this isn't the hanger for them, so I'm not lying. Anyway, whether it doesn't matter because they fit and. Yeah, but, but even so, I still need a um, 
a belt to cinch them in the waist because like I said they're like a size 10 on the waist it's weird they're definitely not four um, but I love them and they're so gorgeous and yeah lovely now I'm gonna move on to Primark I only brought two things from Primark I said it before I don't normally go in Primark a lot um, only if I'm after something like specific like a basic or something but I went in today with my mum and um, yeah I actually found a skirt that I love and this was actually in the sale um, which I feel like pretentious about because then I probably think I'll go on holiday and see like 12 people in the same skirt but I just loved it too much to not have it and it is this which is the, it's a maxi skirt as you can see and it's this gorgeous lime greeny yellow colour which is so nice for the sun especially when you've got tan yeah and then it's got these black blue pink and white flowers all over them and it's just really really gorgeous it's a really nice print and it looks really nice on as well um yeah i love it really really nice especially for the price good one now this is just a quick boring thing i'll show you this quickly because i did buy it but it's just a plain white t-shirt just because i needed another one um for like dance and stuff so that's literally that it's just men's because i like the men's one better because they're bigger now i'm gonna move on to top shop now this is something that i didn't actually buy today when i went shopping i brought it um a few days ago but I, I'll, I'll show you them anyway and they are these um black trainers from Topshop. they're a snake print style i got these um online in the sale and i brought two other items as well but i actually returned them because they weren't what i thought they would be if that makes sense but they're gorgeous and they're really comfortable i wanted some cheaper trainers not branded trainers so i could take them on holiday with me and if they get like messed up if i go to like paint parties and things like that when i'm in malia it won't matter so much um but yeah these were nine pound in this well ten pound but nine pound was student discount in the sale so you can't grumble and they're really comfortable and i've actually been wearing them loads i thought i would just save them you know for like holiday but i've actually been wearing them loads and getting a lot of compliments as well so yeah next and last i'm going to move on to new look um i hadn't been in new look for a while obviously since i stopped working in there i didn't really go in so much because i didn't have the discount you know and i don't actually i know i i do a lot of haul videos and stuff but i don't actually go shopping a lot because i do a lot of it online and online for new look i just never really find anything that I 100% like if that makes sense but I went into the store and I, you know I prefer to have things to hold in my hand in new log because sometimes it looks awful online it's really nice in person or vice versa so yeah I first of all saw this top which I had seen online and was very tempted by and when I went to the store and tried it on I was just like I need it I just do and it's this gorgeous red alter neck um, with it says love on it and it's very retro and just adorable i do love halter necks i know they're very in fashion um, right now but i used to wear them so much when i was young and I, this just reminded me so much of like my youth and like you know back in the days of bring it on and all this kind of thing um and i just thought it was so so cute when i saw it on the website the thing that put me off was that it says love on it because i hate things that say say things on them if that makes sense but it's grown on me because the word love is it's just a word do you know what i mean it's not like a cheesy word is it like cool or chill or I don't know I can't think of any more but it's not it's like a it's like a generic word so yeah and then I brought another top from New Look as well which I'd seen in there a few weeks ago and I went in again and fell in love with it again so I was like yeah I'm gonna get it <laughs> so it's this and it's this gorgeous little cropped peplum and um, with this yellow it's kind of like a mustardy yellow um, background and then these little floral circular designs which I thought was really nice and then like the peplum frill at the bottom and it's just really adorable and um because I think you could wear it like in England like in the summer with jeans but then you can wear it like on holiday with shorts or whatever I just love it cute so cute now the reason I actually went into New Look to buy t today to look is because I have a gift card um what I got from my auntie from my from what I got from my auntie for my birthday and uh, I actually ended up going to the till and not using my gift card and putting it on my card so I've still got my gift card so that's an excuse to buy more clothes <laughs> next thing um I've wanted some shoes like this for quite a quite a, well not quite a while to be honest I saw someone in them and thought you know what I actually need something like that um and I've been looking for the perfect pair because I had them in my head what I wanted um and they are these which are these um cork tan heels I can't think of any other way to describe them but basically um i wanted some heels that i could wear like in the day over summer but also take them on holiday with me and also kind of dress them up at night 
and these are your typical summer shoes, do you know what I mean? And um, all I could find was ones with really big platforms and really big heels and I'd looked everywhere and just so happened that when I went to the studio look today, I'd seen these a few weeks ago and they had them in my size today so I was like, yes, 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 so I brought them and they are perfect, they are exactly what I've been looking for, a nice little heel but not too big, platformed, tan, just top banana absolute banana on top. And then I also got this which was a bit of a silly purchase and I really didn't need it but then again do we ever need anything we buy? No is the answer and it's this <laughs> watermelon cup. I died and went to heaven I think when I saw this. I just thought it was one of the sassiest things I had ever seen and I just I thought it was adorable. For this summer I'm to take to university with me I can be like walking around my halls sipping my strawberry water out of my watermelon cup. Should be watermelon water, shouldn't it? But I don't like watermelon, so no. And although this was mainly a um, fashion haul, I thought I'd just add in a few little bits I've got. Um, I repurchased one of my collection um, clear mascaras. It's a clear mascara, but I use it as a clear eyebrow gel. It's really cheap. It's like I don't know, two pound or something. You don't need anything too special. I, I don't think with um, brow gel, you can just use clear mascara it just ends up turning brown so why buy something expensive that's it then I also finally repurchased my Una Brennan Super Facialist I love this stuff it is great it is great for my sensitive skin it doesn't bring me out it clears up spots it leaves my face feeling great and I ran out quite a while ago and I've just not repurchased it since because it's like £8.99 in boots and um, when I originally brought it I brought it in TK Maxx where it was like £5 or something because you know it's down from RRP um, so I'd just been kind of like, oh, do I need it, do I need it? And it was reduced to, well, it was on sale to um, 5.99 on offer. So I was like, yeah, sort of it, I'm just gonna get it. And then I got this, which I've had for quite a few years in a row now for summer, and it is the um, John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightening Spray. It's basically a spray which you apply to your hair and then wear it in heat and it lightens your hair. I've not got this because I've got blonde hair, obviously, um, but because I really like how the sun lightens my hair and I just want to exaggerate that a little bit more because my hair's kind of faded now. I've still got the gingery tones in from when I dyed it but it's kind of gone back to normal. But my roots are quite dark so I just want them to fade again um, and kind of have like a gingery blonde, strawberry blonde kind of thing going on. So I'm going to try this again. The other two years I've used it though I have been blonde so I don't know whether this will really work with my ginger hair. It might go green. But we'll try it, you know, YOLO, green hair is fine with me. And then I just got a few little bits and bobs from Body Care. I brought these two little purses, which were like, I don't know, 99p or something, because they're great for A, when you go on holiday and you separate like your earrings from your necklaces or your necklaces from your bracelets or whatever. Um, they're great for that. And also for having, you know, just like when you go to the beach and you have like, um, I don't know, like sea salt spray, an eyebrow pencil and a concealer sorted perfect because I always never have these and I have to look like search the whole house to find something and I was like I've got some this year like I've got them a little leopard one and a little polka dot one I brought some pore strips you don't really want to know about that but I just thought I'd give them a go because my nose are very poor at the moment and then I brought these now I was gonna buy some of the eye I never know how to say it Ilia eyelashes because I wanted some eyelashes because I go out and I never wear eyelashes and I wanted some so yeah but um I just can't justify spending like four quid on them. I'm just like, because I, a lot of the time I'll buy some and I'll be like, oh, they're too big, oh, they're too small. So I thought what I'm gonna do, buy some cheap ones. And then if they're like the, the good amount of thickness, because what they look like in the packet is different to what they look like on. If they're a good amount of thickness, then I'll go back and buy some more expensive ones. So I bought these by In Vogue, and I think these were about two pound. Um, and yeah, I bought a like, slightly, thicker one where it's thicker at the ends you can see that and then one where it's slightly thinner um but still quite voluminous and yeah this one's called volumize and this one's glamorize so yeah that's that i completely forgot to show you but i also got these um rebecca minkoff sunglasses i love them but i really don't like this reflective thing that's going on here because you can't see my eyes right now where i'm looking where i'm looking nobody knows I don't know. I like them, but I just wish this was like a black lens or something. I don't, I don't know. But they're nice. But then for the price, if I don't like them, then why keep them? I'm not sure. But yeah. And that is everything for my haul today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I was just about to say it's a bit different but it's not because I do this all the time and um, no doubt there'll be another haul video sometime but I enjoy doing these and I hope you enjoy watching them because I enjoy watching them myself so um, yeah and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon with another video have a nice start of the summer guys enjoy the weather it's meant to be like 28 degrees next week like bye Double chocolate mushrooms, two, drop me up, and a mango frappe.